Hello YouTube, it's Gopernopper, and today I'm showing you my next camera haul. And I know I really haven't been doing much recently, it's just there's a lot going on right now, and I really just haven't had time to make any of my videos. So let's get started right over here. Um, the case is up here because I've had to do several takes, and I just haven't gotten a good one. But this is a Yashica Minister D in really fantastic cosmetic condition and operating condition. I bought this for $7, so that was a great deal. It's an awesome rangefinder too. So some of this stuff's going to take a bit of explaining, so this may take a little bit of time, but everything over here was all a freebie. This was not, all of this wasn't. Um, but everything in here and over here was a freebie. So first, this Polaroid Sonar One Step Pronto SE LAN camera in awesome shape. It works fine. Uh, it comes with this Polytronic flash on it. Batteries go in here. Everything on it's working fine. That was free. Um, this was all given to me by my former social studies teacher. She had a relative or a neighbor, I can't remember, that um, gave all this stuff because they were just trying to get rid of it and uh, she remembered me and gave it to me. So, moving on, right here is a Brownie Fiesta in great shape with the flash holder and this one's also in pretty good shape. Little dusty, but hey, didn't cost me anything. So over here we have three Sylvania flip flashes Super 10s. These have AG1 size bulbs in. And this is really cool. This goes with the Polaroid. Time Zero Super Color Film. Two pack. 20 pictures. Bright, rich colors. There's only one left. And it has been opened. Not by me, but it's only been opened this far. So that is very cool. I've heard that these are pretty hard to find and they get kind of expensive when they do. I am not going to use that. I am saving that. If I find other Time Zero Super Color, I might use it. Right behind there we have some number five flash bulbs, two pack of them. Um, up here we have two very similar 110 cameras. A Calamar, Calamar, FF10 and a Imperial Thermalite one, or Telepermalite 110, excuse me. And the only difference between the two is that this one has a telephoto and wide angle lens in it. That just slides out of the front. However, this one is not working. There's something wrong with the shutter. I can't get it to fire. But either way, they're still very cool. Uh, last 110 camera, little Imperial. Uh, Mag Magimatic or Magimatic Auto Mini um, 318 works fine uh, surprisingly compact very cool Kodak Tele Disc another one um, I already have one similar to this but not in this color scheme which is considered slightly more rare this one's in great shape and it works too Underneath here you can see three packs of Kodak disc film with their sleeves. Have not been opened. They're all in there. And uh, the last of the free, or the freebie stuff was this. And this is my second favorite. This is a Kodak Brownie Star Flash. I love these cameras. This is my first one too, and it works just fine flash holder is built in. This is the red color, but very cool. Okay, so moving away from the free stuff. Oh wait, no, I've got one more freebie to go over, but this is from someone else. This is from my grandma and her neighbor. So my grandma found this for me at Goodwill. It's a Pentax a Zoom 60X. It was $2.99. And this thing's in really nice shape. It's very clean. And it feels like a very st solid and sturdy point-and-shoot. So thank you very much for that, if you're watching this. Probably not, but whatever. 
So then this over here was from her neighbor. Oh, I forgot to mention that my social studies teacher gave me the instruction manual for this camera, but uh, I don't know if I've got it in here. Yes, I do. This was also part of the freebie thing. Snapshots with your brownie hawkeye. This is a brownie hawkeye flash outfit. The box isn't in the greatest shape, but it's very cool because I have an original box now, the camera, which works, a flash holder, and a ton of bulbs. Very cool. Thank you very much. Oh, okay. Almost lost it. I keep forgetting how flimsy this box is. It's okay, it didn't hit the ground though. Okay, so moving on, um, I went ahead to stay with my grandma for a weekend, and we decided to stop at some places. First, we stopped at the Pawn America, and I found this. It was not $25, it was only $10. Yashica FX2. And this thing is working just fine. Uh, sold body only, but it's in very good shape. And I'm really happy with myself that I managed to get them down to 10 bucks on this. And then we stopped at an antique mall, and I found this. This is a Polaroid one-step rainbow um, Polaroid land camera. And this was $4.99, which is a great deal on one of these. I'm really happy with it. So, last couple things. There is a huge community garage sale that went around uh, by my house, and at one of them I found this and a box marked free stuff. This is an Ultronic focus-free point-and-shoot camera. Um, normally I would pass on something like this, but hey, it was free. So I decided to just pick it up. This is my favorite find from the garage sales. At the garage sales I also found some really neat stuff for our decoration. I also found a box of HO model train stuff for $5 total. And um, this. This, in case you cannot read or you can't see it. This is a brownie 8mm movie camera, and this is the turret model. It was $5 with the box. And this thing is in fantastic shape. I always store it with the clockwork motor discharged to prevent damage to the spring. But this thing is working fine. Alright, so I've got to wrap it up here. Last few things. So, right over here, I found this at my local Goodwill for $2.99. It's a Polaroid One Step. However, this thing is in fantastic condition. I mean, just look at the labels on it. It's reflective. It's in such good condition. This thing is in fabulous cosmetic condition. I haven't seen one this good since the um, autofocus one step that I got for my health teacher a while ago. And this thing's in great shape. It works just fine, too. And the icing on the cake. I found this the same day in the display case. Now, this camera cost me $20 because, well, you'll see in just a minute, but it was a bit more expensive. And uh, this one is actually quite rare. This one right here is the Sun 660 Autofocus SE. They had it priced at 24 I paid 20 Because I talked to a manager and managed to get them down a bit on it. This is the Polaroid 50, 1937 to 1987. 50th anniversary Polaroid with the gold paint. It is in fantastic condition and it works great so this thing I picked up for 20 bucks and it was well worth it I am so happy I managed to find one of these anyways um, I'll probably do some video reviews on some of these if I ever get around to it but uh, I know it's been a while since I uploaded anything, and I'm sorry I haven't been able to get them out any faster, but I've just been super busy lately. 
Alright, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.